hello dear friends welcome back to my youtube channel mukesh english skill to excel this is mukesh soni in this video i have brought to you a famous poem written by ak ramanujan titled ecology ak ramanujan who belongs to mysore he was born in mysore india he earned degrees at the university of mysore deccan college in pune and phd from indiana university after his death in 1995 he received sahitya academy award for the collection of his poems now let's know about the poem ecology the poem ecology is taken from ak ramanujan's third volume of poems second sight published in 1986 this poem is about the differences of opinions between the old generation people that is a poet's mother and the new generation that is poet himself in this poem the poet is irritated because the red champak tree is the source of his mother's migraine moreover it also pollutes the air by spreading its pollen its pollens all the poem shows the attachment of old people with the nature in spite of getting ill because of champak tree they have ample of love and respect for her it deals with men and trees and the relationship bringing to fore the ecology matter so the poem begins the day after the first rain for years i would home in a rage for i could see from miles away our three red champak trees had done it again had burst into flower and given mother her first binding migraine of the season so what does the poet says here after the first rain of the monsoon the speaker visits his home he is very angry he is seen very angry because from miles away from a mile away he could see the three red champak trees in blossom due to the due to the rainfall these three champak trees have bloomed the flowers and because of that the strong fragrance which have been produced from the flowers of these three red champak trees have brought has brought migraine headache to the speaker's mother with the street long heavy hung yellow pollen fog of a fragrance no wind could sift no door could shut out from a black pillared house whose walls had ears and eyes scales smells born creaks nightly visiting voices were porous like us porous means the speaker's house which lack repairs and it has so many cracks in the walls through which even the creatures can also easily enter so that's the reason that the poet calls his own house as a porous so what does the poet say here the speaker says that the red champak tree suffocating fragrance is spreading everywhere you you can easily experience the fragrance of the red champak trees in all the streets the streets are filled with the fog of the yellow color powder the yellow color which is produced by those red champak trees and even no wind could sift it even the wind has no power to scatter or to remove the impact the effect of this fragrance not only this even the doors of the speaker's house cannot prevent the strong smell from entering the house as we know that the speaker's house is a porous which requires a lot of repair so the the doors of the speaker's house cannot prevent the strong smell from entering the house the walls of the house are able to absorb absorb almost everything like sounds sights human voices the harsh sound produced but the walls of the house are not strong to stop to prevent this fragrance to enter the house but they cannot stop this yellow pollen fog from the champak trees to enter the house so this is how this is the impact this is the power of the fragrance of this champak tree and because of this because of this the speaker's mother 
gets migraine in every season she gets a very severe headache in every season because of the fragrance which is produced by the champak tree in every season whenever there's a rainfall now the speaker says but mother flashing her temper like her mother's twisted silver grandchildren's knickers wet as coal pack on her head would not let us cut down a flowering tree almost as old as her seeded she said by a passing birds providential droppings so we know that the speaker's mother is suffering from the great migraine and we know whenever there's we have a headache what do we do we just apply a wet uh, handkerchief on a forehead so to get relief from this migraine even though the mother also does the same thing she just picks up some some sort of cloth like her grand grandchildren's knickers and she just make it as a wet cloth and as a cold eye eye pack and she just uh, uh, the, the ice pack she just applies on her head to get relieved but the author the poet could not tolerate her mother's suffering who is suffering from the migraine and to save the mother from any kind of migraine the speaker decides to cut down the tree he has decided that let me cut down these three red champak tree in every season my mother gets migraine because of the fragrance produced by those three red champak trees so he decides to cut down the tree but the mother stops the narrator the mother stops the poet the speaker from cutting down these three red champak trees why the mother says that the tree is as old as her age the tree is very old the mother tells an interesting fact on the birth of the tree how has it taken birth she says that it had been fertilized by the droppings of a passing bird and it is considered to be a very good sign as per belief in that religion something like as an omen shubh auspicious so she gives another reason, reason that why this champak tree should not be cut because this champak tree is as old as the age and this champak tree has been fertilized or has been grown due to the droppings of the passing bird and because of that this tree is very shubh is very auspicious is very good sign for them for the belief now the poet says to give her gods and her daughters and the daughters daughters basket full of annual flowers and for one line of cousins a dower of migraines in a season although the tree causes migraine to the mother yet it produces several basket full of flowers to be offered to the gods and the goddesses or to her daughters and daughters daughters every year so this is a religious importance of those flowers according to the uh, to the mother so mother says that let's not cut this champak tree this champak tree is very important because we use the flowers of this champak tree to offer to the gods and goddesses and this this practice will be continued by generations together her daughters and her daughters daughter the astonishing thing is here the interesting thing we find here it would give a terrible migraine to one line of cousins as a legacy means to say if you if she if she wants that the the champak tree should be there so obviously the flowers will be offered to the gods and goddesses and this will be practiced by the forthcoming generation and obviously the migraine will also follow and the next generation will also have the migraine as a legacy so in other words each generation may be able to offer its basket full of annual flower to the gods and their daughter especially during marriage and for this reason she is all prepared to bear the painful migraine the pain of the migraine but she says i won't allow you to cut this the, to cut the three red champak tree and she is very much particular about the importance and the significance of these three 
red champak tree and this is what we find here a kind of spirit of agelessness about the champak tree and we find here how does ak ramanujan explain his mother's love for champak tree we also find here why did the why did the speaker's mother not allow the champak trees to be cut and we also find here that uh, how does a mother symbolize a traditional reverent attitude towards the nature in this poem ecology so now let's conclude the poem ecology is a perfect example of modernity in this poem the speaker's mother represents traditional way of return to nature life she belongs to the indian tradition and culture she was she worships every aspect of nature the poem is deeply rooted in the tradition of indian which the poet is intrinsically attached to because he is a he is an indian poet the poem captures a bond between the humans and the red champak trees highlighting both its glorious and its delish and its deleterious aspects the harmful aspects and ecology is a scientific term and the poem deals with the human emotions here the poet's attitude to the champak tree is antithetical to his mother's the poet represents the modern generation the poet gives on to highlight the theme of environmental awareness and appeals people to plant more trees in a brilliant way through his poem so that's a message we have here and the poet ak ramanujan he uses his art as a medium to create awareness of conserving nature the poet also wants to say that a particular kind of tree may have some advantages also may have some disadvantages but it is our duty to protect and conserve every plant to give us life so dear friends this is about the famous poem ecology written by the famous poet ak ramanujan thank you so much for watching this video